Welcome back to educator.com. Now we are going to work through a few extra examples on the addition rule. So suppose we have the following basketball players at a college and we're looking at the totals on whether or not they graduate and you know what gender they are. So what's the probability that a randomly selected player is female or graduates? So we are looking at the probability that they're female or union that they graduate. Well, the probability, this is the probability that they're female plus the probability that they graduate minus the intersection of the two. Okay, so the probability that they're female, we would look at this row here and we see that we have 165 females out of 346. We also have for ones who graduate, we're looking at that column for a total of 259. So we have 259 divided by 346 and we're subtracting out where they overlap which is 133 out of 346. So this all equals 0.8 8410. Okay, what about the probability that they're male or maybe we'll call it G complement because they do not graduate. Well, this is the probability that they're male plus the probability of G complement minus the intersection of those two. Well, we have a total of 181 males plus 87 who did not graduate. Now where does this red row and this red column intersect? They intersect or overlap at 55. So I'm subtracting out 55 over 346. So this should give you about 0.6156.